For years, science fiction has been dreaming up concepts beyond our wildest dreams, allowing our imaginations to run wild, transforming our current realities into futuristic, fantastical landscapes. But recently, year after year has seen these seemingly crazy ideas turn to reality. It's safe to now say, the future is here. Take one look in the news and you'll see story after story building up the hype around new autonomous driving technologies from Google, Tesla, and Uber of all companies. But today we aren't talking about the hype surrounding these innovative inventions, we're diving into the details of how these companies are turning science fiction into science fact. Let's begin by breaking down the various aspects of self-driving cars. While there is currently incubating a huge variety of self-driving cars from different companies all of them share the same basic aspect to be a fully fledged automated car a vehicle at minimum should have a vision system and an electronic braking technology explaining the detection or robotic eye of the system is the most fundamental part of an understanding how it works so we will begin there most of the self-driving cars currently in development use a combination of two technologies predominant one being lidar that was actually invented way back in the 1960s to map the surface of the moon lidar short for light detection and ranging works by using lasers to map surfaces by sending beams of energy out and then recording the distance from the point in the same way bats use echolocation except it's doing this thousands of times a second with each laser generating a high resolution image however how is this sort of 3d snapshot used in autonomous cars glad you asked by putting lidar detection systems that contain roughly about 64 beams if we go by google's belladine laser and then spinning them 360 degrees and taking about 1.3 million readings a second this laser detection system rapidly creates a constantly updating 3D model of the world around the car. This technology is extremely detailed and allows the car to observe roads on cloudy and foggy conditions where a human driver would have immense difficulties. However, there is a problem with LiDAR and it can be the difference between life and death. Though it can create extremely detailed images, it has extreme problems tracking short and sudden movement. Luckily, an auxiliary technology comes to the aid of LiDAR. It's called Radar, working in conjunction with LiDAR to build moving and responsive 3D models of the physical world. Autonomous cars are able to definitely avoid accidents and are as a result extremely safer than their human piloted counterparts. This concludes our explanation of autonomous cars. I hope you enjoyed this video and its content and I'm very new to this type of stuff so all I ask is that you leave your opinion in the comments if you can, positive or negative. Have a nice day.